Hey everyone, hello, I'm out of hospital, um, back home, uh, feeling good, I've been in and out of hospital uh, four times in the past three or four weeks and um, it's been a, a pretty daunting experience. Although I've been in the hospital since 18 months ago, basically, when I had my first stroke, which uh, I lost the ability to speak the way I used to speak, uh, lost um, the use of my right hand, uh, then I had another stroke where I lost 95% of my bowel. Uh, they had to remove. Uh, I woke up from the surgery, which I didn't know what it was for. They said they were just doing an investigation. But my, uh, it was dead completely, so they removed it. And I woke up with a, a ostomy bag. Um, which I now wear. Uh, then I developed osteoporosis, broke my back, spent some time in the hospital for that, and then in December of last year I had a heart attack and was in there for that as well. And now this, so uh, uh, up until 18 months ago, I, I never really spent any time in the hospital other than the broken arms and uh, things like that. Uh, and those times were just temporary. So it's been daunting. But I'm home now and I'm feeling good. Uh, I have friends that live on the same level as I do here in these flats and they are checking on me. Uh, I got home yesterday afternoon, went to the shops and uh, they came down to um, see I leave my phone at home often while I wasn't answering. So uh, they're looking out for me. I've got that now which makes me feel more stable about having these seizures which are a horrible thing to have if you're conscious for the first few seconds completely whilst things in your body are going out of control you you can't say what you want to say because you're grunting um, your eyes are pointing up in the air, but you're you're fully conscious, fully aware of where you are uh, and what's going on. And then you pass out. And uh, when I had my seizure at the hospital, talking to the receptionist there, I um I uh, started to have it, and then. Next thing I know, I wake up naked in the bed with people around wanting to talk to me. So it's like that. You lose consciousness. And it's quite scary. But, yeah, having these people now that will check on me regularly, although I have a cleaner because of my hand um, that comes and helps me clean every fortnight um, uh, that's too long to be passed down so I I'm grateful that I have these people with me and now to help out so that's my condition right now it it's kind of uh, fingers crossed all good um, hoping I don't have to call an ambulance Again, uh, just going to uh, make more regular GP visits to get my blood checked, um, to make sure my magnesium and potassium levels 
uh, not too low that I might have another seizure. Um, but, and the hospital had done more on this visit than what they had done in the previous visits. They've spoken to my uh, chemist now. They've spoken to my GP now. They've changed my medication. Um, 